हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस न्यूमेरिकल रिलेटेड टू कोलम एंड स्ट्रट बिफोर सॉल्विंग दिस न्यूमेरिकल वी सी सम इम्पोर्टेंट इक्वेशन व्हिच वी यूज इन दिस न्यूमेरिकल सो फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इज द क्रिपलिंग लोड अकॉर्डिंग टू यूलर्स फॉर्मूला सो क्रिपलिंग लोड अकॉर्डिंग टू यूलर्स फॉर्मूला गिवन बाय इक्वेशन डब्ल्यू सी आर इज इक्वल टू पाई स्क्वेयर ई आई डिवाइडेड बाय एल स्क्वायर वेर डब्ल्यू सी आर मीन्स क्रिपलिंग और बकलिंग लोड ई मीन्स यंग्स मॉड्यूलर्स और मॉड्यूलर्स ऑफ इलास्ट्रिसिटी फॉर द मटेरियल ऑफ द कॉलम ए मीन्स एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड एल ई मीन्स इफेक्टिव लेंथ और इक्विलेंट लेंथ ऑफ ए कॉलम सो फर्स्ट यू रिमेंबर दिस इक्वेशन द क्रिपलिंग लोड गिवन बाई यूलर्स फॉर्मूला दैट इज डब्ल्यू सी आर इज इक्वल टू पाई स्क्वायर ई आई डिवाइडेड बाई एल ई स्क्वायर डब्ल्यू सी आर मीन्स क्रिपलिंग और बकलिंग लोड ई मीन्स मॉड्यूलर्स ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी आई मीन्स मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया एंड एल ई मीन्स इफेक्टिव और इक्विवेलेंट लेंथ सो फर्स्ट वी फाइंड एल ई एल ई मीन्स इफेक्टिव और इक्विवेलेंट लेंथ एल ई वी कैन फाइंड बाय द यूज ऑफ एंड कंडीशन ऑफ ए कॉलम दैट इज गिवन इन द न्यूमेरिकल सो इफ एंड कंडीशन इज बोथ एंड्स हिंज दैन एल ई इज इक्वल टू एल इफ बोथ एंड्स फिक्स दैन इक्विवेलेंट लेंथ दैट इज एल बाय टू इफ वन एंड फिक्स एंड अदर फ्री दैन इक्विवेलेंट लेंथ इज गिवन बाय इक्वेशन एल ई इज इक्वल टू टू एल इफ वन एंड फिक्स एंड अदर एंड हिंज दैन L e is equal to L by root two. So we remember these four condition. If both end hinge, then equivalent length L e is equal to L. If both ends fix, then L e is equal to L by two. If one end fix and other end free, then L e is equal to two L. If one end fix and other end hinge, then L e is equal to L by root two. So we use this end condition and find equivalent length. second imp equation that is k k means radius of gyration that is given by equation under root i by a i means moment of inertia and a means area of cross section if hollow section is given so if hollow section is given then area given by the equation a is equal to pi by 4 do square minus di square where do is equal to outer diameter of the section and di means inner diameter of section and moment of inertia for this hollow section is given by equation i is equal to pi by 64 do raised to 4 minus di raised to 4 so in this way we find radius of gyration area of cross section and moment of inertia next equation is slenderness ratio slenderness ratio is defined as the ratio of equivalent length of column to its minimum radius of gyration so slenderness ratio equation is l e by k this is also one one of the important equation which we use in the numerical slenderness ratio means it is the ratio of equivalent length of column to its minimum radius of gyration next equation is rankine's formula the crippling load according to rankine's formula is given by equation wcr is equal to sigma c into a divided by 1 plus a in bracket l e by k whole square l e by k means slenderness ratio whole square so where sigma c is equal to crushing stress a means cross sectional area of column a means rankine's constant L E we know that equivalent length of column and K means least radius of gyration. So again I repeat, crippling load according to Rankine's formula given by equation W C R is equal to sigma C into A divided by one plus A L E by K whole square, where sigma C is equal to crushing stress. A means cross sectional area. A means Rankine's constant. L E means equivalent length and K means least radius of gyration. If factor of safety is given in the numerical, then find safe load. Safe load is equal to crippling load divided by factor of safety. So these are the equation that we remember for solving the numerical related to column and strut. So now we start numericals. So first data is given a hollow cast iron column whose Outside diameter is 200 mm, has a thickness of 20 mm. Here, cross section is a hollow circular cross section. 
so whose outer diameter is given 200 mm so do is equal to 200 mm and here thickness is given of 20 mm here cross section is hollow so there are two diameters outer diameters and inner diameters outer diameters directly given that is do is equal to 200 mm and thickness is given so inner diameter is equal to 200 minus 20 minus 20 so from the outer diameter we can find inside diameter that's equation is di is equal to do minus t minus t we get inner diameter of the hollow section so di is equal to do minus 2t put the value outer diameter value that is 200 so 200 minus 2 in place of t we can write 20 so 200 minus 40 so inner diameter we get 160 mm so from the data we can find first inner diameter of the hollow section next it is 4.5 meters long and is fixed at both the ends here end condition is given both the ends are fixed and it is 4.5 meters long so in given data l is given 4.5 meter so 4.5 meter is equal to 4500 mm next and condition is given both hands are fixed next we find calculate the safe load by Rankine's formula using a factor of safety 4 so factor of safety that is given 4 next calculate the slidderness ratio and the ratio of Euler's and Rankine's critical load so here we can find slidderness ratio and the ratio of Euler's crippling load and Rankine's load so again I repeat in the data outside diameter is given do is equal to 200 mm and thickness is given 20 mm so from the we can find inner diameter of the hollow cast iron that is 200 minus 20 minus 20 so inner diameter of the hollow section that is 160 mm then length of the column given that is 4.5 meter is equal to 4500 mm factor of safety is given for Rankine's formula so FOS is given 4 and we can find slidderness ratio and ratio of Euler's crippling load and Rankine's load so we solve this numerical step by step in step number one we find effective length and slidderness ratio we know that effective length we can find by the use of end condition here for the column end condition is given column is fixed at both the ends so equivalent length le is equal to l by 2 so here length of column that is given 4500 divided by 2 so le is equal to 2250 mm next we find slidderness ratio we know that equation of slidderness ratio that is le by k where k is equal to radius of gyration is equal to under root i by a i means moment of inertia and a means area of cross section so first we find moment of inertia and area of cross section so i is equal to moment of inertia here hollow cast iron column is used that's why cross section is hollow circular so i is equal to pi by 64 do raised to 4 minus di raised to 4 so pi by 64 in place of do we can write 200 raised to 4 di we know that that is 160 so 160 raised to 4 solve this equation we get moment of inertia that is i is equal to 4.6369 multiplied 10 raised to 7 mm raised to 4 next we find area area of cross section so area for hollow circular cross section that is a is equal to pi by 4 do square minus di square put the value of do and di and solve this equation we get area of cross section that is 11309.73 mm square so by the use of moment of inertia and area of cross section we get radius of gyration is equal to under root i by a put the values of i and a and solve this equation we get radius of gyration k is equal to 64.0306 mm so we can easily find slidderness ratio slidderness ratio is equal to le by k so le we can find by the use of end condition that is 2250 and k we can find uh, under root i by a that is 64.0306 
So Sladen's ratio Le by K put the value of Le and K we get 35.139. So in step number one we find effective length and Sladen's ratio. Next is step number two. In step number two calculate the safe load by Rankine's formula. We know that crippling load according to Rankine's formula that is given by equation WCR is equal to sigma C into A divided by 1 plus A Le by K whole square that is Rankine's formula equation. Put the values of sigma c that is 550 newton per mm square that is given in our numerical a we find that is 11309.73 mm square Rankine's constant given in the numerical that is a is equal to 1 divided by 1600 a by k that is that we find 35.139 so first put the value of sigma c a and E that is given in our numerical for cast iron sigma C is equal to 550 Newton per mm square A is equal to 1 divided by 1600 E is equal to 8 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per mm square so put this all value in the equation for crippling load so WCR is equal to sigma C into A divided by 1 plus A Le by K whole square so put the values and solve this equation we get crippling load is equal to 3.51 into 10 raised to 6 newton but in the question factor of safety is given for the Rankine's formula so here factor of safety is given 4 so safe load is equal to crippling load divided by factor of safety we find crippling load that is 3.51 into 10 raised to 6 and factor of safety is given 4 so solve this equation and we can find safe load is equal to 877.73 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. So in step number 2 we find safe load by Rankine's formula. In step number 3 find crippling load by Euler's formula. We know that according to Euler's formula crippling load is given by equation WCR is equal to pi square EI divided by L square. Put the values of modulus of elasticity, moment of inertia and effective length. We get answer WCR is equal to 7231900 Newton. So in step number 3 find crippling load by Euler's formula. Euler's formula that is given by equation WCR is equal to pi square EI divided by L square and we get answer WCR is equal to 7231900 Newton. In step number 4, find ratio of the Euler's crippling load and Rankine's crippling load. So Euler's crippling load is 7231900 and Rankine's crippling load that is 3.51 into 10 raised to 6. So we easily find ratio of the Euler's crippling load and Rankine's crippling load that is 2.06. So any numerical related to column and strut we just remember Euler's formula and condition equation and by the use of end condition we find equivalent length then Sladen's ratio equation then Rankine's formula so you easily solve example 